Welcome to the Blockchain Report. We discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we'll be diving into the project Zeta Chain. This is a pretty interesting project slash uh, blockchain uh, that was built a few years ago. And I attended one of their events during the Zero X Labs, or not the Zero X, but the San Francisco Blockchain Week. And they had an event and met some of the developers and the actual founder of the project. Been playing around with the, the test net. It's really, really fascinating that it's kind of a, all like it says, all of crypto, all in one chain. So what it is, is the only decentralized blockchain and smart contract platform built for omni-chain interoperability. That just means all the chains from across all networks. And the coolest thing is when you so you can swap tokens across here and you don't have to wrap any tokens. So there's no wrapped Bitcoin, wrapped Ethereum, wrapped Solana, all the nonsense. So it is Omnichain Smart Contracts, Native Settlement, Blockchain Agnostic, Build the Future Now. They have developer first experience. Zeta Chain makes cross chain applications as easy as sending a message saving months of development time and letting you focus on their true value of your smart contracts. Pre-built dApp examples, kickstart development with a growing library of omnichain smart contract examples for real use cases. And dive deeper, our white paper details the foundations of the Zeta Chain blockchain and node architecture. So you can essentially build apps on this Zeta Chain blockchain. The easiest, most versatile cross-chain platform to interact with Zeta Chain blockchain, implement three functions into your dApp to get intuitive, traceable, revertible behavior so your users don't get stuck or risk their funds. The blockchain phases, there's the Sparta DevNet, which has been live, a development network that will experience frequent updates and be used to battle test experimental features. And the current one is the Athens Testnet, a fully explorable and more stable network for developers to build and test D apps prior to releasing them on mainnet. And coming soon is the Zeta Chain mainnet. The real decentralized public network of Zeta Chain that processes real data and value, connecting all chains and layers. So, the building blocks for an omni chain future. So, sending your first cross chain message, omni chain message, which uh, uh, send arbitrary messages and move real value without the need of wrapping or locking assets from any chain to any chain. So coming soon, the smart contracts message and transact assets and data on multiple chains from a single contract, build smart contracts for any and all chains, including Bitcoin and Dogecoin. Because normally you wouldn't be able to talk to networks, different networks, like Bitcoin wouldn't be able to talk to Ethereum or Solana or Cardano. But this is essentially allowing you to interact with all these chains, no matter what network you're on, which is very, very powerful. Another coming soon is Omnichain Accounts. Zeta Chain's novel TSS architecture lets users and contracts custody and manage assets from a single place in a secure and decentralized manner. So what will you build? Crypto without barriers. Zeta Chain pro provides an unparalleled combination of security, simplicity, and flexibility for de developers to build omnichain dApps and users to experience them easily and safely. Ooh, I think my computer screen is acting a little funny. <coughs> Battle tested security. Zeta Chain is a decentralized blockchain built with TSS and POS, tender mint consensus with minimal attack surface. Simplicity first, powerful single-step transactions with built-in cross-chain reverts, so users don't need to worry about multiple steps, gas fees, or single tran or stuck transactions. And unified liquidity, no more wrapped assets, centralized bridges, or increased interdependency risks. More freedom, cheaper, and safer transactions. You can use the blockchain explorer, explore the testnet, That's views to view and monitor blocks and cross-chain transactions in the community. I'm in their Discord. Um, 
Yeah, this is their Discord. So if you want this, they show you the starter kit. And they have things called Zeta Points. This is who I met at the meetup, Jonathan. Very nice guy. They're all really nice. So here's a lot of information that you can get. Zeta Scan. And it shows you the path from which network to which network. Their Twitter. I don't usually spend time in Telegram, so I'm not really going to mess with that too much. So they joined almost two years ago, well, a year and a half ago. A little over. Got 400K followers, 1,100 tweets. I mean, they're, they're really, uh, I believe the founder of this project worked, um, he's worked on other blockchain projects before. So this isn't just some new, new thing that came out of nowhere. This has been, been in the works and has a, a product that's being developed. <laughs> so yeah, the community, there's the Twitter and stuff, the docs. We'll go into a little bit. So we kind of talked about what Zeta Chain is. So we'll zoom in a little bit. You know, Zeta Chain is the foundational public blockchain that enables OmniChain. OmniChain is a, a generic smart contracts and messaging between any block any blockchain. It solves the problems of cross-chain and multi-chain and aims to open the crypto and global finance ecosystem to anyone. Zeta Chain envisions and supports a truly fluid multi-chain crypto ecosystem where users and developers can move between and appreciate the benefits of any blockchain, payments, DeFi, liquidity, games, art, social graphs, performance, security, privacy, and so on. View the white paper here. Take a closer look at Zeta Chain's background and architecture. And you can view that if you're into nerding out on the white papers. So we won't go into this entire network, but I did kind of want to show you some of the architecture. I don't know if you can really see that, but Right here for the users and then the Omnichain D apps. There's the layer just for the apps. And then the Zeta chain, which value transfer, messaging, and smart contracts between any chain or layer. Then you have the individual networks like Ethereum, Bitcoin, Algorand, Cardano, Solana, Binance, and the user and the other user. So right now it's just kind of all over the place. They have it split off into each network, users and Ethereum, Bitcoin, and the users, Solana users, whatever chain, Algorand. So you gotta use special bridges and cross chain DEXs and stuff to even get your funds across. I've had to, man, make cross cross-network trades or cross-chain trades, but having to swap it on one network, send it to another exchange or wallet to swap for another token and then send it to my destination. So this is definitely a, <clears throat> a very good, very good way to do it. Let's see, is there anything else in here that might be of interest. Okay, so here's a high level architecture. And then
I'm not sure what TSS is. But I would like to find out. Okay. If you want to go through this, I actually like to see what TSS. Okay, threshold signature scheme. Okay, signers collectively possess a single threshold security or threshold signature scheme key that is able to send authenticated messages to external chains and hold assets like normal accounts addresses on external chains. Okay, threshold signature scheme. So it sends authenticated messages to external chains and hold assets like normal accounts addresses on external chains. Okay. So that's fascinating, fascinating. The key features, decentralized and public, is built on Cosmos and Tendermint consensus, while many cross-chain solutions like Bridges have varying, often centralized trust models that have a track record for being susceptible to exploits and hacks. Zeta Chain is a proof-of-stake blockchain where all transactions and activity on the platform, even cross-chain transactions, are fully transparent, verifiable, and function in a trust-minimized manner. And this is the problem with... Uh, Ethereum, because they essentially are centralized and can blacklist certain certain transactions, which is not decentralized at all. So hyperconnected nodes. The nodes have observers that monitor transactions on every connected chain. Through Zeta Chain's, uh, what is it, threshold signature scheme? architecture, <laughs> TSS, the network can sign and verify transactions on every connected chain as, wa as a wallet can. And so that's, a, that's good. Um, Omni-chain message passing, a developer can pass messages, data and value between chains and layers with simple function calls. Through message, at, message passing, a dApp developer can build powerful cross-chain applications by simply implementing a few functions within their existing smart contracts. And they show you how to build a Zeta Chain connector here. Omnichain smart contracts can be deployed natively. Smart contracts can be deployed natively on Zeta Chain that can read write to connected chains. Zeta Chain is the only public blockchain to support smart contracts with this capability, enabling a new paradigm of app development and manage external assets. Zeta Chain's network of dApps built on top of Zeta Chain can manage assets and vaults of external connected chains. This allows assets on any chain to be managed just as a smart contract on a single chain can manage assets on its respective chain. A dApp on Zeta Chain can thus orchestrate <clears throat> and bring smart contract logic to any connected chain. This property applies to all chains, including non-smart contract chains like Bitcoin. So that's really cool. We like to see not just a project that, I mean, this is a, okay, we'll have to find that somewhere else. This isn't just a project that's building a, a swap bridge function. It's, it's kind of like a token swap and token bridge all in one, but it's only the protocol that, that runs it, nobody else, and having assets that you can manage externally is pretty wild. Having applications that you can build on top of it is is excellent. It gives it more use cases. It's not just a a project, you know, like like Hop, um, the or Stargate that can just bridge and, and stuff. It has an actual network that you can build on top of. So that's really neat. I don't... Okay, so what is Zeta? And Zeta's not out yet. It's not launched, but it's going to be the coin for Zeta Chain. You used to pay gas fees for smart contracts and secure the network uh, since it is proof of stake. And it'll be bonding, staking, slashing. It's also the core of Zeta Chain's cross chain transfer, swaps, message delivery, and security. It's one of the first multi-chain coins that is natively issued across multiple chains and layers. 
users can directly move the Zeta coin from any chain A to chain B. The mechanism is a one-way peg, i.e. burning X amount on chain A and then minting X amount on chain B. Okay, so... Interesting. Interesting. So, I wonder if there's going to be a fixed amount on each layer or each network. If you have, let's say I have Bitcoin or the, I want to transfer from Zeta chain to Bitcoin network. So will there only be fixed amounts of, and let's say Zeta chain has 100 million tokens or 100 billion. If they have 10 billion on here and 10 billion on here, if I swap, you know, 1 billion from here to here, will that just cut this supply by a billion and add to this supply? I don't know. It's a, something to think about. <clears throat> Or will it just keep a, uh... yeah, because what if you run out of, of liquidity on that chain? Although they're probably, I don't know, I'm just, uh, just thinking, questions I need to ask. So they use their, their coin Zeta to represent value cross-chain because unlike the more common way, common two-way pegging, there is no wrapping and therefore no multiple representation of the same underlying asset. The only native value that can go cross-chain is via the Zeta coin. Uh, which reduces attack surface substantially, resulting in an easier to understand audit and therefore higher security. Um, for example, we can check total supply at the contract mint site. Users can pay Zeta for the cross-chain service that Zeta chain provides and for gas on the destination chain in a single step bundle. A little FAQ. Let's, um, let's check it out here. Um, so there's a little bit about the token. Yep, yep, yep. We talked about that. So having Zeta as the denomination of value moving across, moving cross chain also provides data. That's interesting. So I'm not seeing. So Zeta chain is not a side chain, is it? layer one smart contract enabled blockchain that can access all uh, all networks. It's not sidechain, roll up or bridge. And da, 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 da. Okay, so how can it compare to other solutions? So it's unique in its support for chain agnostic omni chain D apps. Um, that just means it doesn't matter what chain you can you want it to run on this layer can run on all run applications on all blockchain networks which no other blockchain has and there's just a lot of a lot that you can do with that so let's see any more Okay, developers on ZetaChain only need to implement their dApp logic. With, while ZetaChain handles the transaction of data and value across chains in a trust-minimized way, rather than outsourcing security to third-party Oracle and re relay like uh, layer zero to transfer data value across chains, which requires full trust from the users in the applications and relayer plus Oracle. ZetaChain provides a simpler and more robust trust model to transact across chains where developer and user alike need only trust the network for the delivery of their data and value. This is just a little more security. I am looking for some stuff. So they'll release stuff on how to be a node operator. That would be actually be pretty cool. That would actually be pretty cool. So the testnet and mainnet, 
most of them are already out, or a couple of them are already out. And how do I get Zeta? You can request uh, Zeta in the Zeta Faucet channel in our Discord, which is uh, right here, Zeta Faucet. Now, let's see, where is it at? Okay, so testnet. I've been on here, so oh, and one one thing I wanted to uh, to kind of bring up is the okay. Here's a little bit on the Athens two testnet, which now. Uh, supports smart contracts and Bitcoin. And let's see here. Yeah, you can go in there and, and play around with that, but I'm going to no, not explore. So we have some new stuff. I don't need to hit that guy in the works with them. And they have a Galaxy quest, but I don't believe. I'm not sure if it's still active. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, you can go in here. I. Okay, these are still these are still up. So if you go to Galaxy and Zeta Chain campaigns, you know I've got all the ones available right now. But if you go here, you know claim your Zeta support Discord role in the Zeta Chain guild. And if you go here, I think this will take you to the Discord. But basically, just uh, be a Twitter follower, Discord verified, claim your oat, and then we got the a few a few things you got to do in the app, in the application here. So we'll go to actual the the Zeta Chain website. We'll go to the testnet. As you can see, you can earn Zeta points, which, yeah, you, I, I've seen people talk about this, and I did it months ago, and just never, yeah, the first day was August 16th, so... I don't have any invites. Done some transactions. So start swapping Bitcoin built with Omnichain smart contracts. Click here to learn more. And just kind of what I was talking about before. This Omnichain dApps to Zeta Chain. And then the Zeta EVM, Omnichain smart contracts, ZRC20. It's uh, pretty interesting how they developed this. So to transact with Bitcoin, you can use the XDeFi wallet and acquire testnet Bitcoin through faucets. So start testing. Uh, do I have the X? Yeah, I have the XDeFi. And here you can request to get the testnet tokens. Let's get verify your Twitter. Got some Zeta. They show a leaderboard on here, but this is just a... Uh, a lot. You can check the FAQ to get some help with anything. And okay, swapping once every seven days. So now we select a network. So what is this omni chain? Okay, you have until 414. 
So you enter Zeta Labs and swap Zeta for USDT using any two chains. So make sure you use the following to get uh, to get the the funds you need, the testnet tokens you need. So you got BNB faucet, uh, Gorley faucet, Clayton faucet, Polygon Mumbai. So we'll see. I got some Zeta. So you want to swap Zeta for USDT. And I want to send it to, let's just do the BSC testnet. We'll send to USDT. Let's do 0 0.39. Uh, you got to switch your network. Make sure you switch it. If you don't remember, it's it's all cool. I mean, they... Uh, input amount is too small. How much do I need? Let's, let's check Polygon, Mumbai. No. Don't have any Zeta there. Or, oh yeah, got some Zeta. Can I do USDT? I wonder why the amount is too small. Input amount is too small. So, interesting. Not sure why that's not working, but let's try another one. So Omnichain Geth to Zeta. So swap Garly ETH for Zeta using any two chains. Two chains. So swap some of that. Garly ETH. Some girly ETH. <clears throat> we'll do 0 0.1 see why is this okay let me get some more some more geth some more geth I'm actually going to get some more of each faucet. Clayton, Mumbai. Yep. Yeah. I want to leave. I want to change to a new site. Wallet address. So, this is where you can get some test tokens. Okay, I'm going to, yep. Let's save that. There we go. <clears throat> send me F, send me F3, um. Okay, I'm a human, I'm gonna do all this. Wow. Ladybug. Some weird looking ladybugs. Okay. Give me BNB. Um. Oh. 
go back to swap. I want some BNB. Five BNBs. Okay, we'll do the Clayton. No spaces. You can only <clears throat> you can only request every hour or every day. That's cool. Woo. So we'll go ahead and exit this. That's pretty sick. And we'll go back to here. I don't know why this is okay let's let's try this again let's try this again BSC do USDT two four see dang so let's make him me put in six okay so you gotta put in at least 2.5 I'm gonna find out what this is So basically, 251. So swap on the Gearly network. You want to swap your Zeta. Make sure you have at least 2.51. Select the BSC testnet, USDT, review order, allow Zeta transfer. As you can see, normally you wouldn't be able to really transfer between these networks like that without dealing with a bridge that is very, very pricey. Yep, yep. And then we swap it. So it'll go from the Gary test net through the J Zeta chain protocol and it'll end up at the BSC test net. How about that? So then wait for it to track your transaction. Now, what I will say is that they do have an update today from Jonathan who is He's a community manager. Yeah, head of community, Zeta Blockchain. Said, this is the year as part of an ongoing security effort. We're announcing the first bug bounty program on Testnet and with leading platform ImmuneFi. All reward details can be found here. The blog post announcement was just released. We just released is more focused on a technical security overview of Zeta Chain. We address many of your questions in this post. If you have follow-up security questions, go to the community, ask us anything, or comment on our tweet announcement here. In other news, the temporarily paused best place to visit in your city, part two, is back. Submit your pick, the Zeta Chain logo in your city, on the new official submission from here before January 25th. Okay. So note, 98 of you submitted your contest entries on layer 3 or previous hosting solution. Don't worry, we have your submission. Just sit and chill. So they have a bug bounty program. That was one of the 
biggest pushes for me to do this video was I wanted to cover this project for a minute. Now they have a bug bounty program. So we know a little bit about the program. Rewards by threat level. You can kind of go through this. They Rewards are distributed according to the impact of the vulnerability based on the Immune 5 Vulnerability Severity Classification System, V2.2. This is a simplified five-level scale with separate scales for websites and applications, smart contracts and blockchains, DLTs, focusing on the impact of the vulnerability reported. And all bug reports must come with a POC with an end effect impacting NSS. Uh, all bug reports must come with a POC with an end effect impacting an asset in scope in order to be considered for a reward. Explanations and statements are not accepted as POC and code is required. So, the, the rewards are uh, capped at 10% of economical damage, with the main consideration being the funds affected in addition to PR and brand considerations at the discretion of the team. However, there's a minimum reward of $30,000 for critical smart contract bug reports. High smart contract vulnerabilities are capped at 10%, with a minimum reward of $10,000. And rewards for critical web app vulnerabilities are further capped at 10%. And however, there's a minimum reward of 15,000 for critical smart contract bug reports. And high web app vulnerabilities are capped at uh, 10%. Yeah, it's all 10%, which minimum reward of 5,000. Known issues highlighted in the following audit reports are considered out of scope. These audits and so here's the different levels for smart contracts, websites and applications. Yeah, proof of code required. Assets in scope. So here's some. Yeah, this this is all their code. So you can search through and, and play around with stuff. So all smart contracts in data chain can be found here. However, only those in the assets in scope table are considered as in scope of the bug bounty program. So only the following impacts are accepted within this bug bounty program. All other impacts are not considered as in scope. You can check some of these, which have a priority rating right here. You can go through and check all these. There's some out of scope and rules. You can go through and check that out if you're interested in the bug bounty program. And yes, KYC is required. And if you're interested in other bug bounty programs, there's I mean, dang, rewards up to $10 million for crazy. I mean, that's, it's smart. Because if you're going to pay people, oh, that's overall. Yeah, if you're, if you're going to lose a lot of money and somebody can find that in a way that won't wreck your network, you pay people to just hunt bugs and stuff, yeah, it's it's really good. Save you a lot of a lot of money. So let's see if we're okay. We have received it. Took a minute and a half. So that's really good. We'll swap again. Now we can swap Geth for Zeta. So we'll swap Geth. Let's see what we got. We got Zeta on here. Okay, so some of these.
You guys see that fine line between the when we can add more. Ooh, there you go. Okay, we'll put that. Give me some zeta. So swapping geth for zeta, just like it says right here, using any two chains, it doesn't matter. You can go ahead and swap that. Swap it up. Confirm the transaction. And we shall wait. All right. <clears throat> Looks like we received it. Now, after this one is done, go here to Omnichain Matic Zeta Swap. So this, okay, I guess we gotta click on it. So Matic Zeta Swap, you wanna swap Matic for Zeta using any two chains. Two chains! So you wanna swap some some Matic. Let's just go back on here. Get some 0 0.4. You see how much, how little Matic we can send before we get that error. Oh, I gotta switch. Don't forget to switch your network. Okay, input's too small. Let's check this. Three. Let me get one that I can use, man. Let me get one that I can use. I'm going to have to swap it all. Well, it doesn't look like I can. So I'm going to swap some Zeta. Actually, I'll use this network since Oh, I don't have any Zeta on there. Okay, I'm going to move some Zeta back over. To this network so that way. I need more Zeta in order to perform this. It can be a little confusing. Swap. Go ahead and confirm that. <coughs> okay, I'm having some issues getting this to to go. So we may have to Yeah, this is weird. I, I'm going to have to play with this a little more because I'm not able to send any zeta chain Yeah, I can only send a little bit at a time. 
and this is just not working. See if I can send some back to Zeta. I'm gonna have to do this in a two part. Nope, still can't. Okay, let's try this. Swap that. And I'm gonna have to come back in and finish this video up later as I need to get back. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll just end this right here. Um, if you can get this to work, you know, swap Matic for Zeta. And then your last one will be the Bitcoin Omnichain swap, which you wanna swap Bitcoin for any DeFi asset for on any chain. And when you go to here, Bitcoin testnet, which your ex DeFi wallet you will need, which is right here. I don't remember the password. Nope. No, I don't remember what it is right now, but install that, get that knocked out, and you'll be able to mint those NFTs. Now with that, that's the end of the video. Well, I'll, I'll see if I can, uh, yeah, I, I think I might just end the video here. That way, if you have any questions doing some of these swaps, leave a comment and I'll be happy to help. But until the next video, peace.